welcome to my views and news, some new stories for you. Firstly, uh, Ethiopian PM Abe delivered a speech today in Hawasa Sedama. And there it seemed as if he was trying to create a boogeyman to uh, divert attention from government's responsibilities. What did he say? He talked about conflicts, uh, new conflicts uh, in Ethiopia. Uh, who is uh, fueling these conflicts? Did he name anyone? Is he trying to create an imaginary evil character which is behind all the wrongdoings happening in Ethiopia? Secondly, we have a new story from Shreviyods where reportedly electricity has been restored. Why is that? Tegarai uh, uh, regional government is not reporting much about resumption of uh, some basic services in some parts of Tegarai. Uh, thirdly, Amhara region of Ethiopia where a counter protest was held today. In the previous video, I spoke about uh, the protest held in the Brimorakos. Reportedly, security forces tried to disperse the protesters and some were injured too. And lastly, Eretia, where Abune Kirlos, uh, fifth patriarch's uh, funeral ceremony was held. Isas Avoki was there to attend the ceremony. Before these four news stories, one update for you. Around 24 hours ago, I reported that uh, Somalia and Somali lands leaders were expected to meet in Djibouti. Now, it has been confirmed. Pictures are being shared of uh, Hassan Sheikh, Somalia's president and uh, uh, president of uh, self-declared country Somali land, Musi Bay Abdi, the two uh, have met in Djibouti. Though uh, they are there to attend the wedding ceremony of uh, Ismail Omar Djibouti, a president's daughter. Hebado is marrying uh, Sadak John. Sadak John is from uh, Somalia. A few days ago, I reported about this marriage. Sadak John is former Mogadishu police commissioner. He was fired from his post last year when he tried to resist uh, extension granted to former president uh, Farmajo. Uh, and uh, later he contested uh, election as an MP. Now he is a member of parliament. He is from an influential uh, tribe in Somalia. So, so that John is marrying Ismail Umar's uh, daughter, Djibouti, president's daughter. The two presidents, Somali land and Somalia, they are in Djibouti to attend this wedding ceremony. There the two met. Uh, we cannot say that formally talks have uh, resumed between uh, Somali land and Somalia, but it seems that it could be start of uh, direct engagement between Somalia and Somali land. Somalia says that Somali land is part of Somalia. Somali land. Uh, claims to be an independent country. So, talks could start, uh, formal talks. Uh, now, with some new stories for you. First one is uh, from Ethiopia, which is about PMRB, who delivered a speech today in Siddhama state, where a large gathering was organized uh, to celebrate Nationalities Day which Ethiopia celebrates. Uh, so today was 17th celebration of Nationalities Day held in Siddhama. Uh, Hawasa, Siddhama's capital was the venue of uh, today's celebrations, Thursday celebrations. There PMRB uh, spoke about uh, new conflicts in Ethiopia. He said, 
Don't listen to those who keep creating new agendas to destroy Ethiopia. They couldn't let the country have a full month of peace. It is important to identify the creators and disseminators of this agenda. He is basically saying that uh, after a peace agreement signed between TPLF and Ethiopian federal government, new conflicts are being created to destabilize Ethiopia. And there are some uh, elements which want to destabilize Ethiopia and people should identify and uh, they, should, uh, they should be aware of who are these elements. Now, what is he talking about? Who is he referring to? In the last two years or so, whatever bad happened in Ethiopia was blamed on TPLF. Now, TPLF was the easy target for the government. It was a way of uh, covering up government's responsibilities, government's failures too. Now, TPLF uh, has signed a peace agreement. Uh, Vienna is now not the uh, easily available target. So, another boogeyman is being created by Ethiopian federal government, Ethiopian PMRB. There are some elements, uh, some players which want to create instability, which want to destroy Ethiopia. Who are these uh, elements? Is he talking about armed factions like Romo Liberation Army, FONU? Is he pointing his finger towards Amhara political elite? Is he talking about Romo opposition parties? Is he talking about uh, TPLF, Egypt? No. He is not naming anyone in particular. He is leaving this grey area for people to make their own conclusions. Why? Because he wants to cover up government's failure. That is how I understood his today's speech, which he made in Havasa, Sidama. If there are some elements creating instability, he should name them. Who is destroying Ethiopia now when uh, peace agreement has been signed? Are these uh, forces more powerful than the government? Or is he just creating a boogeyman to cover up government's failure? That is what he seems to be doing. People should ask questions. If there are forces uh, creating instability in Ethiopia, where are they? Who are they? Uh, and who are they being supported by? Government should take the responsibility of what is happening in Romia, in Amhara, in the parts of Ethiopia. If civilians are dying, you cannot blame some unknown hidden group for this uh, for these killings. Hundreds are dying. Who is responsible? Government will have to pinpoint the exact uh, uh, perpetrator who is behind this violence in different parts of Ethiopia. Uh, Secondly, we were Shere reportedly electricity has been restored in Shere city. Shere is still under ENDF control, EDF too maybe, though EDF was withdrawing. Uh, but ENDF is there in Shere. And according to Mogus McConnell, who is uh, uh, an official of Ethiopian Electric Power Authority, Shire uh, has electricity restored. Um, so, either in parts of Shire or in whole uh, city of Shire, electricity is being restored. Uh, Tigray official sources are not reporting much about resumption of basic services in Tigray, which is happening. In some parts of Makale, reward electricity was restored. In some parts of Aksom too, 
where reportedly a wild service was resumed, uh, it was restored and now in Sharia. So, uh, implementation of peace agreement is gradually underway. Thirdly, viewers, Amhara region of Ethiopia, where counter protests started today. The last three days, we have been seeing demonstrations in Oromia region, across Oromia. People protesting against uh, civilian killings of ethnic Romos, which happened on the weekend. They've been uh, accusing Amhara Fano militia members of being involved in the killing of ethnic Romos in Valaga. Now, counter demonstrations are starting in the Amhara region of Ethiopia, but today uh, at Magdala University, students protested, Amhara students, and in Debre Marcos, Gajam, people took to the streets demanding the release of uh, a Fano commander who was arrested a few weeks ago. Uh, and uh, secondly, the people uh, condemned uh, killings of uh, ethnic Amharas uh, in Valaga. Security forces tried to disperse the protesters. That led to clashes reportedly between security forces and protesters and some protesters were injured. Some uh, locals say that police uh, fired at protesters. We don't have a confirmation about uh, firing at protesters by security forces, but reportedly some uh, protesters were injured. It means that Amhara regional government uh, is not going to allow demonstrations to be held in the region. Uh, Romia regional government is allowing protests in Romia. We are seeing that uh, in different parts of Romia. Largely, government did not uh, try to stop the protests. But in the Amhara region, there are already issues because uh, Government uh, launched a crackdown on Fano fighters a few months ago, and then we saw demonstrations. Uh, government stopped all demonstrations. It did not allow any party to protest. The same is happening because if these demonstrations continue in the Amhara region, it could lead to pressure upon Amhara government and some pro-Fano element, some anti-Amhara government, uh, hardliner elements, they could join these demonstrations which could be used against the regional government. That is why demonstrations will not be encouraged, uh, I think, in the Amhara region. Lastly, we are the fifth patriarch of uh, Erat in Orthodox Church who was laid to rest in Asmara today. A funeral ceremony was held of Abu Nekar Loss, uh, who passed away uh, this week. Uh, Eritrean uh, President Isa Sehwaki attended the ceremony. PFDJ top officials, some foreign diplomats, uh, delegations from Ethiopian and Egyptian Orthodox churches and uh, members of diplomatic community, some UN officials, all participated uh, in the funeral program of Abune Carlos. Members of Holy Synod were there too. Who is going to be the new uh, patriarch of the church? People are sharing uh, some names that it has been finalized. Though I have not seen any official confirmation so far. Thank you for watching.